Got to remind you that you're like the old guy, the oldest guy, or one of the oldest guys in the group. It, yeah. You have seen this program go through some pretty dramatic changes since you arrived. What were your thoughts yesterday when you saw you guys that were unveiled for the Orange Bowl after kind of the ride that you've been through at UNC? Um, you know, I was ecstatic to see that we we're going to the Orange Bowl. I felt like this team and this senior group, especially, has been through a lot here. You know, uh, the two and nine season, I feel like we just built something from the ground up, you know, and then we, we deserve to make it this far. And with three of the guys opting out, how cool is it that some other players are going to get a chance to step up and, and fill those roles and also how it could launch them toward next season? I was, um, it's real good. I'm, I'm excited to see some of the young guys step up. It kind of gives you like a glimpse of what's going to happen next year. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like it's going to be a huge step for them to get some good game experience, some starting experience actually. And then uh, prepares them for next year. Cool. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. All right. Over to Steele Brown. All right, Tavon. Um, what all do you know about Texas A&M? Had you watched them play much uh, during the season or, or, you know, have you have you kept up with anything that they've done? I haven't watched live games, but, you know, we have film. So I've been studying them a lot so far since we knew that we were playing them. And, like they're they're a really good team. They got a strong front, both on the offense and defensive side of the ball. I think they have a good game plan week to week. They kind of attack teams' weaknesses, and that's that's just their approach. And they do it well. And what do you feel like is going to be, you know, when you guys huddled up and and uh, Chaz Surratt that huddle, uh, making calls or or talking up players? What what do you feel like is going to be the main thing you guys will miss with not having Chaz's presence? We just got to um, keep keep the communication up. You know, Chaz was a veteran guy. He a very smart player. He could help give us calls, uh, um, tell us what he thinks about to happen, this and the third. But with behind him, we had Eugene, who's also a smart player. I think he'll be able to fill his shoes pretty well this game. And we also have still have me, Gimmel, and some of the other older guys on the defense to help out. Thanks. OK, uh, let's go to Luke Buxton. Up to Mon. Um, they announced that you won the Bill Coleman Award for Outstanding Achievement in Academics, Athletics, and Leadership Award. Jake won last year, um, and this year they said it was voted on by the players. Kind of what what did that mean to you to to receive award kind of that magnitude? Not only about kind of your play on the field, but also your character and leadership abilities. It just you know it tells me how my how the players feel about me, how my teammates, how my brothers feel about me. You know, and I just really appreciate it. Just knowing they they support every, everything I do on and off the field. And what was that? What was that night like? Um, just kind of having a, a celebration of of players. What does that mean to to a program when when you guys get recognized in that way? Uh, you know, it's it's emotional. Not not enough to the point where we're gonna cry and anything, but it's emotional just having all your brothers out there and just celebrating each other. It's a good time. Cool. Congrats. All right, uh, let's go to Greg Barnes. Hey, Tamon. The the decision to uh, opt out is a personal one. I'm just curious, is that something that you considered and kind of what went into your thought process? Um, no, I, I never can really considered opting out uh, of the bowl game. I just, I just want to finish off the year strong. I feel like we've done a lot to get to this point and I want to take advantage of it. I feel like it'll only help me. And, and the fact that where this program was, you know, a couple of years ago, what does it mean to you personally to, to be in this situation? Uh, it means a lot just to, Come, overcome so many things, the adversity of having a lo two losing seasons back to back, and then having that new coaches come in and then just embracing them, and then being able to make it all the way to the Orange Bowl just means a whole lot to me. Thank you. Okay, last one for Taman will come from Ross Martin. Hey, Taman, uh, you came in with Chaz. I was just wondering your kind of thoughts on and your relationship with him and, and what he means to you and, and to this program and his impact on the defense last couple of years and UNC. Uh, Chaz is an impact player overall uh, on both on and off the field. Even when he was on the offensive side of the ball, me and him was always close. You know, he's a huge competitor. He pushes everybody that's around him to be, you know, to get to that next level, you know, to be great for the football team. So I feel like he he was like one part of the heart of the team, I would say, especially the defensive side of the ball. And we just appreciate everything that he's done for us. Is there a sense of pride with you and, and, and Patrice and Chaz and, and some of the older guys, Michael Carter, to kind of bring this back program back to, to where it is now. Y'all talk about that and kind of what y'all did in the last two, three years and kind of their whole whole career. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, for sure. There's definitely a sense of pride. Cause like we said, like we just been through a whole lot and we just, 
we worked so hard like in the off season just to get to this point. So we feel like we deserve we deserve everything that we're getting right now. We worked hard for it, so we're gonna reap uh, re the rewards.